Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on accessing ACS from Doom Builder. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and start by creating a 640 by 640 room. Okay, now we're going to come up here to the top here and we're going to draw out a... Let me do a 128 by 32, zoom in here. And I'm actually going to take go into lines mode and shrink this down on both sides. So it's 64 by 32. And uh, I'll select this sector and delete it. That way I get that void space. Now let me come into lines mode, select this top line, go to side defs, and I'm going to switch this middle to a texture, a uh, switch texture. So I'll come down to switches, and I'll just take the SW1 STR TN. Push OK. And we'll come into properties and we'll select the action button here and we'll come down and we're looking for script. All right, script execute. Push OK. All right, we're going to go ahead and execute the first script. And if map number is zero, it will just affect the map it's currently on, which is what we want. How are we going to trigger this? We're going to go ahead and have the player press use. All right, and it's going to be a repeatable effect. So we'll push OK. And I'll go ahead and select these other two walls and right click, go to side desk, and because they're not going to have a texture on them, and I'll just make them go up here to base, uh, star tan 2. Push OK. All right. And clear out that selection. OK, so we got the switch set up. So now all I got to do is come in here and do some coding. So we'll go into view, we'll go into script editor. All right, we're going to put in our include Z common line. Include. Z common dot ACS. All right. That's basically all the ACS definitions. That's why that line's got to be included. Um, now we're going to go ahead and start a script. So we'll go to script one, and we want to actually trigger it. So we're just going to do void. Open parenthesis void. Close parenthesis. Go to the next line. Open bracket. Close bracket. All right. Now in the middle, we're going to do a print. Open parentheses, we're going to do S for string, uh, colon, do two quotation mar or uh, yeah, two quotations, close parentheses, and semicolon to close that off as a terminator. All right. Now in the um, quotation marks, we're going to type in OMG, you just hit the self destruct button and alright exclamation point at the end alright and we'll go ahead and compile the script make sure everything's good to go alright and you see down here script scripts compiled without any errors alright good to go so we'll close that out alright we'll go ahead and add a test player in here I'm sorry not a test player a player start one start and I'm just going to draw a line across this because we're going to have two sectors to start the game. So with that, we'll go ahead and go do some testing. Okay, so here we are in game. And if I come over here to the switch and push use, you see, oh my god, you just hit the self-destruct button. And remember, we made it a repeatable effect, so if I keep hitting it, it'll keep letting me post that message. So with that, we'll go ahead and head back into the editor. So with that, that'll uh, that'll pretty much wrap up this lesson. All we got to do is make sure that uh, when we go into lines mode here and select this line, you see how we put script number one as the, the script we wanted to trigger. And we came up here into the script editor and made sure it was script one. So it will trigger that number. And if we wanted to change that to, you know, walk over or any other type of trigger, we could just by simply changing the trigger, button, trigger uh, action. Um, so with that, that'll pretty much wrap up this lesson. Thank you for watching.